How in the world are you today? Amen. Uh, we thank God for another day that he has given us. And I want you to think about this. Every time that you wake up, it's a blessing from God. I want you to lift up your right hand right now and just begin to thank God because of life. If you look at um, Genesis chapter 2, the Bible says that God formed men in the dust of the earth and then he breathed in his nostrils. You see, there's no life in a man and a woman without the breath of God. Everybody that you are seeing right now, walking, talking, acting up, without the spirit of God in them, there's no life. And that shows you the, the uh, intensity and how big the grace of God is. Even though we live in, in the days where mankind do not respect God anymore, but God still have patience on the world. And he can just destroy us and take away his breath and everybody just die. But because of his patience, he let us slide and give us time to repent. All right, so that's why I ask you to lift up your right hand right now and just begin to thank God for life, for the breath that you are breathing right now. Amen. Without further ado, let's go into the word of God. In 2 Corinthians chapter 11, we're going to read two verses. Actually, let's start from verse 13 and through 16. It says, For such are false apostles, deceivers, workers, transforming themselves into the apostles of Christ in no marvel, for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. Therefore, it is no great thing if his ministers also be transformed as the ministers of righteousness, whose end shall be according to their works. Whose end shall be according to their works. Very important uh, topic right there. Whose end shall be according to their works. Amen. Now let's focus on verse 15. It says, therefore, it is no great thing if his ministers. So Satan has some ministers out there. I'm going to say it again. Satan has some ministers out there. Now, how do you recognize the ministers of Satan? Believe it or not. That's why the Bible says marvel not. Believe it. Don't be shocked. Don't um don't uh, don't be in shock that Satan does have ministers. Even though that Satan is going to hell, he's going to the lake of fire. There's people out there they just want to follow after Satan. Oh yeah. That's why the Bible says marvel not. Don't be shocked. Don't be surprised. He does have some ministers. But who are they? How do you recognize the ministers of Satan? And how do you recognize the ministers of God? But my topic really right now as you're listening is what kind of preachers you going to shop for? That's my that's my topic. What kind of preachers you going to shop for? Now, when people want to go shop for clothing, they go to Walmart, they go to the mall, they go to uh, um, Costco, whatever place they want to go to, to shop, depends on what they are buying. If you're shopping for a car, you go to a car dealership, you're looking for the best car. The car that suits you is what you are looking for, correct? Amen. So that's why I asked you this morning, what kind of preachers are you shopping for? I'm going to say it again. What kind of preachers are you shopping for? Because everybody is shopping for a different type of preacher. If you're looking for a homo preacher, you can find homosexual churches where they, the homos, they worship God. 
They think they are worshiping God. They have a Bible. Matter of fact, they have their own Bible. They call it the Queen's James Version. They have their own Bible. Okay? If you're looking for a homo preacher, you'll find one. If you're looking for a dyke preacher, you'll find one. If you're looking for gay sodomy preachers, you'll find one. If you're looking for a uh, drag queen's preachers, you'll find one also. What kind of preacher are you looking for? If you're looking for a uh, sh sugar-coated messages preachers, you'll find one also. If you're looking for prosperity preachers, you'll find one. If you're looking for uh, pimp preachers, the pimp, the pimp preachers of LA, you find one. What kind of preachers are you looking for? Because the Bible says in 2 Corinthians 11, verse 15, there is no great things if his ministers, whose ministers? Satan. Also transform themselves as ministers of righteousness. They dress themselves. They appear to be the ministers of righteousness, but they are not. You understand? So everybody is not looking for the same thing. Some people is looking for the ministers that wants to tell them what they want to hear. So those are the kind of preachers they are looking for. Those are the kind of preachers they go after. That's why the church of Joel Osteen is filled with a lot of people. He has gay people in the church. He has dykes, homosexuals, sodomy, straight, heterosexual. He has all type of preachers in his church because people are not looking for God. They're looking for accommodation. They're looking for a church where they feel comfortable. They're looking for a church that suits their, their, their sin, that support them with their sin, that tolerate their sin, that will give them a pat in the back and never hurt them to the scriptures. But the Bible say that the word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword piercing to the to the divine and spirit soul body and joint and narrow it is the discerner of the heart and intent of discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart so if you are in the church and you never get hurt by the word of god you are in the wrong church because the word of god comes to 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 convict our hearts it's a sword. It comes to sever, to cut, separate us from sin, separate us from the world, separate us from fornication, separate us from cussing, separate us, separate us from, from dressing like, like whores and sluts like those people are doing in the streets, separate us from dressing like prostitutes, separate us from the sin of darkness, but to bring us to into the marvelous light of Jesus Christ. So what kind of preachers are you shopping for? Everybody that goes to church, they looking for different preachers. The one that want to that is gonna that is gonna motivate them uh, in their sin. They will never touch the sin in their lives. They will never touch about their um, their character, their bad attitude, their stinking attitude. The preacher will never touch that. But he will make them feel accommodated. He will make them feel comfortable. He will make them feel suitable in their sin. That's why these preachers, people love them. These girls give them a lot of money. These guys give them jets. Because these preachers, they, wanna, they pave the way of hell for them very nice. So what kind of preachers are you shopping for? Are you really shopping for a minister of God, for a preacher of God? A preacher of God will tell you sound doctrine. That's why the Apostle Paul say, I marvel that you are so soon removed from him that call you into the grace of Christ unto another gospel. So these preachers are preaching another gospel. They are not preaching the word of God. That's why the Bible calls them. They transform themselves. Transforming. As a ministers of righteousness. So they are like sheep. Wearing wolves clothing. That's why Jesus described them as false prophets. False ministers. So the apostle Paul here is saying it in another way. They transform themselves. So that means you think that you are under the right preacher, under the right church, just because somebody can quote, 
Psalms 23, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. You think that this guy's from God, he's not. The one that's from God, you will know it. He will preach against sin. Why I say that? Because in the book of John, chapter 16, verse 8, the Bible says that Jesus said that he will send us the comforter, which is the Holy Spirit. He will convict the world of sin, of righteousness and of judgment. When was the last time you ever heard those fake ministers preaching against homosexuality? When was the last time you heard them preach against injustices that's going around the world? Against Planned Parenthood that's killing millions of babies every year. They will not touch those subjects. But they will motivate you about everything else. But they will never touch the subject of sin. I don't care about your bank account if it's not adjusted. I don't care if you, if you, how much money you have in your pocket. I don't care about those things. But these preachers, they don't care about your soul. All they care about is how much money you got in your bank account and how much money you have in your pocket. And how much money, how much tithes and offerings you can pay to support to support their big mega churches, who's going to pay for them? That's why they don't preach against sin because people are going to feel uncomfortable. They will not stay in church, in the house, unless they want to change. That's why Paul said, I marvel that you are so soon removed from him that called you into the grace of God unto another gospel, which is really not another gospel, but there's some that trouble you and would pervert the gospel of Christ. That's why he said, do an angel preach any other gospel unto you. That's what we have preached unto you. Let him be a curse. Are you there to please men or you please God? So what kind of preachers are you looking for? Everybody's looking for something. Which preachers are you shopping for? Any preachers you shopping for, you're going to find it. If you're looking for a homo preacher, you're going to find one. There's a homo church probably down the street. If you're looking for a prosperity preacher, somebody that's going to just motivate you about prosperity, 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 you're going to find one also. If you're looking for a preacher that's going to motivate you so that you can dress however you want, you can date, you can fornicate, you can divorce, you can be a sodomy, you can be a Satanist, you can be a, 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 a Mason, you find that preacher also. But the preacher of God, the real men of God are very few. That's why Jesus said, very few shall find the narrow road. Are you with me? So what kind of preacher are you shopping for? Look at everyone. They're all looking for something different. That's why the Bible says a lot of these preachers, their God is their belly. They don't care. They are the enemies of Christ. They are the enemies of the cross. They are the enemies of the gospel. Their God is their belly. So therefore, they will be destroyed at the end. But you that are listening to this message right now, I want you to look at yourself, examine yourself. What kind of preacher are you shopping for? Are you looking for a man of God that's going to tell you against the wrong in your life? That's why the Bible says, deny yourself, pick up your cross and follow after me. Nobody wants to deny themselves. Nobody wants to, wants to talk about their wrong, but they're always talking about somebody else's wrong. Amen. That's why the Bible says in Proverbs, who can say that they, they have no sin? Everybody has some. That's why we always need somebody that's going to tell us about the things in our life so we can rectify them, modify the flesh, the deeds of the flesh, and kill our flesh daily so that we, we can be saved and become pure un inwardly. Do you understand? This is not about how much money you got. It's, it's not about your, your bank account is fat, but it's about your soul, your name that is written in the book of life. It's not about all the other th things that are in the world, but it's about how you save. That's why you need somebody that's going to pull your ears, somebody that's going to tell you about your life, somebody that's going to tell you the truth about your life, not somebody that's going to pat you in the back. And, and, and tell you some sugary message. You need some salt in your in your message. Not sugar. 
Sugar will give you cavities. You need salt in your message to save you, to give you savor, to preserve you until the return of Jesus Christ. If you are listening to this message right now and you've been all your life looking for sugary preachers, you need to repent right now because all these sugary preachers that never touch sin, watch them on TV. I don't care how long you've been following the preacher. Watch how many messages does he ever preach against, against sin? How many messages he ever preach on repentance? How many messages he ever preach for, uh, on the return of Jesus Christ for people to be ready to be spotless? They will never touch the commandment of God. They will never touch fornication, divorce, idolatry, adultery, sodomy. They will never touch your sin. But they always make you want to see that they know the Bible. They don't know the word of God. If you're not preaching against sin, you don't know the word of God. You're a false preacher. You need to get out of that church. Get out. Don't even think twice. Get out. And stop listening to that guy. Stop listening to that to that to that dude. And plus, female is supposed to be preaching the gospel. They're not supposed to be pastors. They can testify what God have done for them, but they ain't supposed to be ministers and pastors. God did not call them. That's a rebellious spirit. Do you hear me? That's all biblical. We are following biblical doctrine, not man's doctrine, not man's traditions. May God bless you. May God keep you. You need to repent right now. If you've been following those fake preachers, you need a preacher that's going to preach you salt. That's going to preach against sin. You don't hear those preachers anymore. Where are they? It's almost like they don't exist anymore. Amen. So we're going to stop right now. Share this video with your friend, with your colleague, with your pastors, with your ministers. Until the next time. Like, subscribe and share this on Facebook and Twitter, on Instagram, so that people can hear the word of God and stop shopping for those fake preachers that want to make them feel good about themselves. You want somebody that wants to make sure that you are saved. Make sure your life is straight before God. Not somebody that's going to play around with you until you go to hell. No. Subscribe. God bless you.